Hey guys, it's me Dave. It is 4-15-2022. So it's Friday night. Um, I'm having a drink. Trying to enjoy myself after today. Today was miserable. Um, uh, they, uh, they hit me all day long, you guys. Um, I've been trying to get, I've been trying to get naps in all day because I was, I didn't get to sleep until 4 a.m. last night. And then... Uh, and then I slept until about eight and then I had to feed the dogs and stuff. So I was laying in bed a couple hours, no sleep. And then my sister came down and I had to go and I had to go with her to bring a truck to my relative's workplace, uh, because the truck was all screwed up and all this stuff. Um, you know, I came back home, tried laying down, and, you know, it, it just didn't, it didn't work. I was so tired all day long. Um, you know, it, it, uh, you know, I've been getting, getting hit on the weekends, uh, lately for the last, like, three weeks. Um, they've been hitting me on the weekends. Um, I don't know, <laughs> you know, um, you know, I just, it, it after all these years of going through this, it still blows me away. It still blows my mind that, you know, you wake up and you get tortured by some guy. Okay, I know it's a supercomputer. I know it's conscious and, you know, it's a conscious computer and all this stuff. I know all that stuff. But I do think they can set it at different levels manually. I do think they can sit at diff different levels manually because they can lay off you too and not hardly hit you at all if they don't want to, you know. They have different le levels they can set it at. Um, and then they're probably heterodyning you at the same time, you know, e.g. cloning you at the same time um, and, and putting their feelings onto you and everything else. Um... You know, you know, I just, but they're watching us. You know what I mean? Uh, in my program, they do 12-hour shifts. It's either 7 in the morning till 7 at night or 6 in the morning till 6 at night. They do 12-hour shifts. And the thing is, they're watching you live. They're watching you for that 12 hours. They cannot look away. It's like they can't look away. You know, I don't know if they pee and poo themselves or what, but they can't look away. They're um, addicted to this. They get their jollies off on this, you know, and the guys sitting here or the people, two or three people, whatever, whatever's on the team, um, you know, because they can have two or three or one or two brains hooked up to you. Um, I don't know if they have three. Uh, hooked up to it once, but I know one or two they can have hooked up to it once, you know, and um, they're watching you be tortured for that 12 hours, and it's like they can't look away, you know? I mean, you know, I'm kind of confused on what's going on because, um, like, you know, okay, so I'll have my own thoughts. And then the the supercomputer will put, will inject their thoughts into me, along with my own thoughts. So, and they could be similar or whatever, and they could be my own voice, okay? So, I think... You know, so they're they're torturing me. You know, like like um, I was thinking of my sister, and then it would inject a thought similar to that uh, thought. And the guys sit, or these people are sitting there torturing me. Is that the supercomputer automatically doing it? I don't know. I don't know if it is or not. Or is it these guys torturing you for your, for the supercomputer's thoughts put into your mind? Because you could have a partial thought of your own, and then they'll inject a thought. 
And then the guy will torture me. He'll hit me in the leg or the hip or something like that. You know, like, it's almost like they can't tell the difference. I don't know if they're doing that manually or not. But it's almost like they can't tell the difference between my thoughts and the AI. It's almost like they can't tell the difference. You know, so is that the supercomputer doing it or is it them doing it manually? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, you know, like I say, when I got V2K, um, I would, I would, I, I, I would do my inner voice and talk myself and then they would inject their thoughts in my voice and on V2K, they would respond to that. When it wasn't even me saying it, it was the supercomputer or the chatterbot saying it in my own voice it's really confusing i'm sorry to be confusing it's really unreal and it is confusing um you know i'm trying to figure it out uh you know it's uh made to be confusing uh they don't want you to figure it out i suppose you know and all this stuff you know so um but that's what they've been doing it, it's you know, I'll have a thought, and then they'll inject a thought, and then the guy will sit here and torture me for that thought. Like, like if it was my own, it's not my own, but they do it in your own voice. You know, but I can tell the difference. I know it's not my thought. You know what I mean? I can tell when they're injecting that thought in my own voice or my inner voice. You know, it's kind of like sports, uh, like forced speech almost. You know, and stuff. It's it's confusing. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but, you know, that's what they're doing all day today. Every morning they're monitoring, uh, putting their thoughts along with my own thoughts. Um, and then they're torturing me for it. Um, I could think of, uh, I could be laid in bed and, and trying to get to sleep. And I'll be thinking about my past. You know, thinking about good memories of my past. Uh, my friends. Uh, my childhood friends and all this stuff, um, you know, dating girls, they get really offended when I, when I, when I think about my past girlfriends, um, they will torture me for that, uh, give me, um, I don't know if they're external hits, but they'll hit me in the hip or the knee or the foot or something, make it painful, uh, because they don't, it's almost like they don't want to know that I've, had a past life i had a life before this you know i had a good life before this you know i was working two jobs i was dating i was trying to figure out what i wanted to do with my life and all this stuff i wanted to settle down and get married and you know all this stuff that could have happened but these guys messed it up because they started to do this in 2012 you know they they started let me know i was in the program a little bit in 2012 and then full uh uh full blown uh targeting started in uh 2015 so they were doing this back in 2012 i had no idea no idea i went back to school i took the dri truck driving course and all this stuff and got my diploma and you know and they were they i think they were involved in that i i've been yelled at so much by the instructors um, I think they were trying to get me to quit. I think these guys were involved in that in 2012. I didn't quit. I got my Class A license and all that stuff. I could drive anything right now. You know, so how do you go from getting your Class A license in 2012 to being competent and not having any mental illness and all this stuff? How do you go from that, from 2012 to 2015, where you get falsely diagnosed is having schizophrenia. Don't you find that a little odd? Don't you find that a little odd? I still hang on to my Class A license. But they ruined it for me. They totally ruined it. Fal being falsely diagnosed. I'll never be able to use that license ever again. You know? So, how do you go from 
uh, getting your life together, starting a new career and all this stuff, and then all of a sudden, three years later, you have schizophrenia? Well, that doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense at all. You know, you must be amazing. You must be amazing. And you're in your 40s. Figure that out. So when I was 39, I got my Class A license, went to school and everything else. And um, this started when I was, what, 43, 44 years old? And I'm being diagnosed with schizophrenia? Figure that out. How does that happen? It's so stupid. It doesn't even make sense. Anybody would go, what the hell is going on? You know, if you seen a real doctor, he'd be going, what the hell is going on? You know, it makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. But I don't think these guys are too smart. I don't think they're too smart. They have done things that make them look stupid. Like when I go to the, when I got locked up those times, they did blood work. My blood work was completely normal. They tested me for all kinds of drugs and all this stuff. It said on the thing, cocaine, meth, oh, oh my God, all this stuff. They tested me for everything. And my blood is clean. Not only that, but my blood was completely normal. Because I don't do drugs. You know, I don't do drugs. I don't take drugs. I don't smoke marijuana. I don't do anything. So... And my, my blood work was completely normal. Now, I've worked with real schizophrenias. And they do have outbursts. Uh, I had a guy throw his arm through a window. Okay. Uh, he went to the psych ward. Now, they did blood work on him. And they noticed his blood work was off. So they had to adjust his medications. And he was better. But his blood work was off. Okay, now, I've had blood work done two or three times when they put me in the psych ward, and my blood work has been normal. No drugs, no marijuana, no, I don't do, you know, I don't do anything. And my blood work was normal. So how do you figure out, how do you figure that I have mental illness in my, It, it, it makes absolutely no sense. If somebody looked back on my record and you live a normal, non-violent life, I don't have a criminal record. I'm non-violent. For the last 40 years of your life or 44 years of your life, all of a sudden, you're having outbursts overnight? You're, you're punching walls overnight? Because they're hitting you with rage. It just... Overnight? Oh, overnight? I woke up and I have schizophrenia. And I'm punching walls and breaking cups on the floor and all this stuff. Because they're hitting me with rage so much. It makes absolutely no sense. No sense at all. It makes no sense. And they can't erase my history. You know, it is what it is. I don't have a history of mental illness. I don't have a history of nothing but working, making money, no criminal record, no drugs. I don't do drugs. Nothing. It's really unbelievable, you guys. It's unbelievable. In fact, I'm going to name this video, It's Unbelievable, because it is. Uh, like I say, these guys aren't smart, and they're they're... It doesn't make no sense. You know, it makes no sense. But this guy's insecure. I think I think they are afraid somebody's going to help me. I really do. I think they're afraid somebody's going to help me. You know, or something. Um, they're really insecure people. I went to look at a truck that I was going to buy. It was 45 minutes away from where I, where I live. They tortured me for two weeks. Because I went to look at a truck I was going to buy. Unbelievable. 
It's unbelievable, man. I'm telling you. If you walk the wrong way, they'll torture you. If you chew your food the wrong way, they'll torture you. Complete psychopaths. Narcissist psychopaths. Anyway, it's enough complaining. Um, so I got hit all day, and that's that. I'm having a drink now. I'm trying to enjoy myself uh, before I go to bed. Um, so anyway, it's about 10 p.m. Friday night, um, you know, and that's what's going on with me. Um, I hope you guys are doing well out there. Thank you for the comments, um, you know, and I'll, I'll talk to you guys later.